Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be learning about for loops. Now what for loops are, uh, th there's three different types of loops in, in C++. There's for loops, there's while loops, and there's do while loops. The two main common ones you're going to be, you're going to run into are for loops and, and while loops. Now, uh, the difference between a for loop and a while loop, uh, a for loop is a counted loop and a while loop is uh, a non-counted loop. It's, it's basically exits whenever the condition isn't true. So, uh, I'm going to be sure, a, a while loop will be easier to you because it, it more resembles an if statement, but I will, I'm going to be showing you the for loop and we're, we're going to be using the for loop to calculate averages, okay? Uh, so let's erase this code that we had from last tutorial and uh, let's make a integer or yeah let's make a float yeah let's make a float and call it average or let's okay we'll make we'll make two floats We'll make one called total and we'll make one called average, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to set total to zero and we'll just leave average as it is right now. Okay, so the syntax of a for loop is simple. Uh, the syntax of a for loop is uh, we, we, have, we have three, we basically have three things in it, okay? The first one uh, asks for the counter. So what we're going to be using to actually count with the second one uh, is the the statement. So just like an if statement, uh, like what we say, like if blah blah blah, it's a condition. It's what condition has to be met before it exits the for loop. And the last one is how much uh, the value is going to be increasing by or what way you're increasing. Okay, so. For most users that use a for loop, what they will do is define a variable within the for loop because they normally only need a temporary variable. If you don't need a temporary variable, like you want to still use it after, uh, then you can declare it like this and say uh, int count or count, yeah, whatever, and then you could say count equals zero and then etc. etc. So we're going to do it the first way and then we're going to do it the second way after. So what I have is a variable called count and we're going to say count is equal to zero so to define the three different sections of a for loop we um, exit each section by doing a semicolon beside it so we set our value our counter value equal to zero so our second thing is the condition or the statement so what we're going to do is uh, this is what we're going to do we're going to do a little cool thing so what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, we're gonna have an, another variable called amount. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna make a cout statement. We're gonna say enter the amount of grades that you're going to input. Okay, and we're gonna use sin, and we're gonna be, do amount. So what we're gonna do is we're going to say that we're gonna say uh, the condition it keeps on looping as long as count is less than the amount okay so since we set count as zero then when count is less than the amount it's going to uh, in the end it's going to be the amount of times that we actually set it so if we by default set count equals to one then we would want to say if count is less than or equal to amount it doesn't matter each way is the same so we end that with a semicolon so that's our statement uh, that's the initial value of our counter and for the last statement is how much we're going to increment our counter or decrement our counter by right or how much we're going to do it so are we going to increase it by two each two each time are we going to increment it by three etc etc now i don't think i i I taught you guys about um, different ways to increase uh, different things like to add different variables so when we're adding or uh, subtracting like different like numerical values uh, there's different things we could do so we could either say like count is equal to count plus one that would increase it by one if we wanted to or we could say count plus equals a value so what that does plus equals is basically saying it's equal to count 
plus the value that you specified. So it's an easier, it's a quicker way. Now, if you're only gonna be increasing or decreasing by one, then all you could do, all you have to do, is just put plus plus. Okay, so that's simple enough. So, and same thing for minus and for multiplication. So for if we're decrementing by uh, one, we just do two negatives. Uh, we could say subtract equals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If we're multiplying, we could do times equals, and if we're dividing, we can put divide equals, etc., uh, etc. Et and and we we're going to be creating uh, a calculator after we learn about all our loops. Uh, so we're going to um, get more in depth into the different types of uh, calculations you could do, in, including modulus, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So for now, we're going to just use the plus plus operator, which is just basically saying that well, that is it's saying that we're going to increase count by one each time it loops. So just like with everything else, we're going to use the braces to encapsulate what is going on right so we're going to say that while counts equal to true we're going to say we're going to say total plus equals no actually so we're going to say we're going to say we're going to do this clever thing right here so we're going to say enter number and we'll put a space we'll put two left stream operators and we're going to put the count value and then we're going to do another two left stream operators and put a colon there. And then we're going to do sin. We're going to do sin and we're going to get a temporary number. So we could do uh, for temporary values, like if we put in number like in here, it's only going to exist within our for loop, right? So it's temporary. So this variable, if you were to try and, and declare number outside of the for loop, you would get an error. So it's like it's a temporary variable. So for now, I'll just set this as a, a temporary variable inside here. Okay. So we'll say that we say sin number and then we'll say total plus equals number. So it adds that to the total each time. So once it loops the amount of times that we specify, then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, calculate the average, right? So to calculate to calculate the average, what we do is that we say total uh, the total number divided by how much you have, okay? So we're gonna say that average is equal to total divided by the amount. And then we're gonna say your total was, and we'll put the total, and we'll put end line, and we'll say your average was, and we'll display the average. So if we run this program, let's see if it runs correctly. So we click to run it and we get some errors. Where are our errors? Oh, okay, I forgot that was a stupid mistake. I didn't have a semicolon. So let's run this one more time. Okay, so let's run this. So enter the amount of grades that we're gonna input. So we're going to input uh, let's say two okay so we're going to input our first grade is 60 and let's see let's put another grade 60 to see if the average is calculated correctly so the total was 120 our average was 60 and we say to continue okay so once again to amount of grades to input we're going to say four we'll say 30 uh, 156 even though that's not really great out of 100 but we'll say 78 uh, 87 your total was th um, 351 and your average was 87.75 so we just calculated the average uh, using our for loop so we looped through it uh, uh, we looped through it four times so we could enter four numbers and then we calculated our average so uh, the, the last way uh, to the last thing I'm going to do is that if we don't want to create this variable before, this count variable, we can erase this. We would just say int count equals to 1 or whatever type of value type it is is equal to 1. 
So therefore, uh, we can declare inside there and do whatever we want with it. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll, we'll learn about while loops. Tutorial, tutorial after that, we'll learn about do while loops. And then after, we'll uh, create a calculator, you know, a full-on calculator with, with different functions and stuff to do with it. So uh, that is it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and bye.